y'all see the new piercing though? It's coming through. Oh, this the new one. But this the old one. But this the new one. But this the old one. But this the new one. Y'all like it? What y'all think? What up? It's your girl, Nick. Everybody's on the same. What are you imitating? Me, I'm spitting the real with no imagination. Better give it all you got if we collaborate. All right, y'all. It's Motivation Monday. And as you can see, I'm not in the gym right now. I will be later. But I don't meet with my personal trainer till tomorrow and then again on Thursday and again on Saturday. And last week, with me being in Delaware, going to Kel's birthday party and doing all that, like we kind of got off track. So I wasn't able to record while I was in the gym because I didn't get to see my trainer. But I was working out by myself and stuff. Anyways, my brother's here. I'll be right back, guys. I forgot that he was coming over, so I'm gonna have to continue this in a minute. Okay, disregard that too. I actually got an Amazon package in the mail for our meal preps. Y'all already know I be cooking. I'm about to cook here in a little while with y'all live on Nick and Liz. Uh, but yeah, it's Motivation Monday. And today I figured, why not? Why not answer some questions from you guys? I'm trying to open this package. I know what it is. It's just meal prep, Tupperware. Look how obsessed with like getting fit and and cooking meal preps i'm getting like what i'm like officially stay at home mama pet mama that is all right y'all my youtube shout out of the day is gonna go to ray and Bree productions y'all go check out their channel they're literally like a mini version of dz and myself like a mini studology 101 literally they do topic videos pranks challenges man and they kind of remind me exactly of what we used to be like when we were younger. So they're our little bros. Make sure y'all click the link in the description box below. Find my comment underneath their video and leave a comment underneath my comment. Let them know that the Mob Squad fully supports what they have going on. Here's a little preview of their latest video. Is it a bulky ass pocket? Ooh, yes! yes. I'm a good snowman. I do not show some cheese. So if you like that clip, make sure you go down in my description box below. Click the link, find my comment on their video and comment right up under my comment. Letting them know that the Mob Squad fully supports their channel. All right, y'all, let's get into this Motivation Monday. It's Motivation Monday and I did get a question from someone. This person in particular asked to remain anonymous. But her question is, where are the faithful studs at? Is there a lack of faithful studs? And I'm assuming she asked me because I've been in a relationship for quite some time now. To be honest, I don't think there's a lack of faithful studs or faithful people in general. I think that there's someone out there for everyone and that maybe you just haven't met your match yet. One thing I highly recommend, and you can ask some of my friends who have done this and have actually been successful with this. When you're looking for a significant other, let's say you've been single for a long time and you're just not finding the right one or they're all fuck boys or you know, you just you're just not having any luck. First off, you want to start with yourself. First and foremost, make sure that everything is good with you. Have you completely fallen in love with yourself? Because without that, you can't fall in love with anyone else. It's going to be very difficult for you to pour love into someone if you have not filled your own cup, if you get my drift. You have to fall in love with yourself completely in order to be able to give love to anyone else. So that's rule number one. Number two, think about like all the details of your everyday life, like where you live. Have you made space for a significant other to come into your life? Like I would recommend clearing a space out of the closet for their clothes. You know what I'm saying? Sleeping on one side of the bed instead of sleeping in the middle of the bed. You know, there's a few different things you can do to manifest a partner into your life. Another thing I highly recommend, y'all already know that I'm a big fan of writing things down. For those of y'all who got that gratitude book and are doing it every day, shout out to you guys. I know it's making a difference because people have already told me, hey, I started my gratitude book and so many things are already coming true. So that's how the law of attraction works. Like. There's just no way around it. That's how the universe works. I recommend writing down every single detail you want in a significant other. 
and don't leave anything out, okay? When I first started practicing the law of attraction and I was looking for a significant other, y'all know what I put? My ass put, I want my girl to look like a Victoria's Secret model as if she came right out the magazine, okay? I, I pondered on that, you know what I'm saying? That's what I wrote down, that's what I wanted my girl. I wasn't specific, and pretty much that's exactly what I got. I didn't ask for loyalty, I didn't ask for common sense, I didn't ask for a patient significant other, I didn't ask for someone I could grow with, you know? So you have to be very specific in what you ask for because what you ask for is pretty much what you're gonna get. But to get to the point, y'all, I don't think there's a lack of faithful people out there, you know? I feel like that's probably what you're attracting at the current time right now, you know? And it's that's an easy fix. You can start attracting other types of people. Well, first and foremost, take care of yourself. Make sure you're falling in love with yourself, y'all. I could never ever think about a relationship if I had like too many insecurities you know what I'm saying or if I was just like you know I just I just couldn't imagine like not being in love with myself and then trying to love someone else and mainly that's because we're not responsible for each other's happiness we add all day long to each other's happiness but we're not responsible for each other's happiness if that makes sense a lot of people get into relationships and they feel like their partner's supposed to make them happy and that's not the case you know you really have to communicate um all the time especially if you're gonna be with that person for a long time and why get into a relationship if you don't plan on being with that person for the rest of their life all i'm saying is that there is not a lack there of i know people who are faithful all day every day also another thing i want to recommend guys when you're on this hunt or this quest for love you got to have boundaries and that's where a lot of people, they just let whatever the hell happen to them and with no boundaries. Like you can't get cheated on and then accept that person back, okay? Sometimes we are meant to be lessons in people's lives. If someone cheats on you, it's, try, it's time to, to, they lost out, you know what I'm saying? Missed opportunity. That's not gonna be the right person for you because the right person for you isn't gonna hurt you. That's just something I wanted to talk about on Motivation Monday, guys. I'm about to get ready to meal prep and cook with y'all on live. So y'all already know it's about to go down. Chef Nick on Nick and Les. So make sure you go subscribe to Nick and Les if you wanna catch me live whipping it up in the kitchen because I'll be throwing down, y'all. Y'all don't even know. All right, y'all, before I go, let's get right to these Twitter shout outs. My first shout out is gonna go to Hater25. She is the homie actually, and she hooked me up with a dope YouTube banner. I don't know if y'all have seen the banner, but that shit is fire. Like she really, really hooked it up with the Dallas skyline in the background, man. I love it. So shout out to her. Make sure y'all go follow her and let her know that I sent y'all, man. I appreciate her for making that banner. It is so lit. A lot of y'all shared it on Twitter and I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Hater25. All right, y'all. My next shout out goes to Dorville Princess. It's spelled D-O-R-B-I-L. P-R-I-N-C-E-S-S. -S. Make sure y'all go follow her. Let her know that the Mob Squad is lit. You know, we follow each other on the Mob Squad. I see y'all on Twitter. Y'all like a whole little coalition. And I appreciate all of you guys so much. Y'all don't even know Mob Squad is constantly growing. 10K on the way, baby. All right, squad. I'm about to go get ready to cook. Throw down in the kitchen. Whip it up. Y'all are probably going to see this video today after I've already cooked on Nick and Liz because uh, I've been busy all day. I woke up at 4 a.m. I had to be at the gym at 5 a.m. Finished cycling class at 6 a.m. Got back home, doing all types of work on YouTube, y'all. Like, I've been so busy and I'm grateful for the work because Lord knows I don't have a job and this is what I wanted to do for a living. So, I'm grateful, y'all. And i just been really, really busy. So now I'm about to go cook. Then I'm gonna post this video for Motivation Monday. So sorry for the delay, guys. I love y'all so much. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Mob Squad, we out. Link in the Make sure y'all click the link in the description. <laughs> oh, fuck no. Nothing less than I would, you can never